Hello and welcome back to part 15. So in this video we are going to carry on with the Photoshop design. So I'm going to move down the page. Now the next section we're going to focus on is this uh, portion here. Now if you actually look at this section, this one is just a copy of this one. So we'll create the first one and we just copy the code to uh, create the one here on the right hand side. So the way we're going to do this, again, we're going to use a heading tag and then we're going to use a, an unordered list to create this sort of effect. And then the final part of the design is to add in these three images and then that's us finished. So we need to slice out these uh, icons. So we're going to zoom in and then we're going to grab our trusty slice tool. So over here, hold your mouse down and go to slice. And I'm just going to quickly slice these out. So I'm going to call this one, just call this folder, and then keep slicing them out. I'll call this one book. Call this one camera. This one info. Uh, that one looks like a database icon to me. I'll just call that DB. You can call these what you like. And you can guess what I'm going to call this one. I'm going to call this clock. Anyway, so right, we've got all those. So we just need now to turn off this this little grey layer here. So we'll click on the actual grey. It goes to the content layer. So turn that off, and then click on this one here, which is the background layer, and we'll turn that one off. So we've now got it transparent. So we're going to do File, Save for the Web and Devices, and then make sure PNG 24 is selected up here, and then click on the first icon here, the folder. Hold down Shift and click on the clock the book, the DB icon, the camera, and then the info. So we've got all six selected. Click on save, and then make sure you've got these slices here is selected to selected slices, and hit save, and that will save them into your images folder. So now that we've got that, we just need to go to Dreamweaver and add them all in. So if we just go to the design here, uh, we're going to be adding in a left section and a right section um, and then we'll be adding the code in the middle so in here if we go to the source of the index underneath the featured section here we're going to add in a couple of divs so we're going to create a div here and we're going to give it a class and we're going to call this left box close that off as usual and create our comment so this is left box and then I'm going to create another div just below that one and this is going to be called right box so I'm just going to indent these in a little so if we go into the style sheet and then just below the featured P we're going to add in a class we we'll call this left box and this is going to have the following properties so we're going to float the box to the left we're going to give the box a width of 420 pixels. The height of the box we're going to set to auto and we're going to give it some margin top to bring it down away from uh, the text above. So we're going to say 20 pixels. So if we just preview that in the design and if we come down you can see here's our box. As you can see here so it's the uh, class of left box and this up here is the margin top we added to kick it away from the text so we've got the first one in we just need now to create the right hand box so i'm going to come back to the style sheet i'm just going to copy this and paste it below and all i'm going to do is change left box for right box and then change the floats from left to right so now if I go back to the index page, we've now have two boxes, one's on the left and one is on the right. And we just now, now need to populate the content with inside of it, so the H2 and all of the icons. So if you go back to the code of the index page and create some space. So we've got the area in here for the left box and we'll create some space here for the right box. 
So in the first box, the left hand box, we need to add in the following. So we want to put a H2. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in for speed. So here's our H2 and it's got the text in the middle. And then inside of that, we want to create an unordered list and we're going to give this a class also called icons. And then just close that off. And then on the inside of that, we have obviously list items. So in, inside each list item, there's going to be an image. So we're going to point to that image using the source and then we'll browse to that image. And I think the first one is the folder. And then we'll add on the alt text. Now this is where you put in text when you hover over the image, it gives you information about it. It's good practice to leave to have these in for validation. Uh, I'm not going to put anything in there, but it's just good practice to put them in. I'm going to close that off. And then we need to put the actual text uh, for each list item. So I'm just going to copy this from over here. And then we're going to close off the list item. So if we just look at that in design, as you can see, we've got the H2 and we've got a list item and it's got the dot here, which we need to remove. It's got the image we added and the text next to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste in the rest of them for speed. So here's all of our list items. Check that out. So that's all looking good. So we now need to style them. So if we go to the style sheet, so we want to actually give the unordered list a width. So we're going to say UL with a class of icons have a width of 420 pixels the height is going to be auto so if we just check that in design not much has changed we need to affect the list items now so I'm just going to copy this just paste it below and then add on LI for list items so the width of the list items will actually be 210 pixels. Remove the height. We also want to put in list style and we want to say none and save that. If we go back to the design, you can now see all of the dots have disappeared. Uh, and now each list item is 210 pixels in width. The next property we need to add is float. So we want to float them uh, to the left so they, they sit next to each other and save that. If we go back to the index, you can now see they've all floated up next to each other uh, and they're looking quite nice now. So if we go back to the style sheet, the next thing we need to do is create another one of these. So we'll copy the text. Uh, so we're going to say an unordered list with a class of icons that has list items that contain an image. So IMG is image. We want to float the image to the left as well. But before I type that in, I'll show you why. If you look here, these images, uh, we want to float these to the left. So this text moves up a little, so it's in the middle. So we come back here. So we say float left and save that. You now see the text has jumped up a little, so we can now move it into position. So if we now go back to the LI, we're going to say line height is 30 pixels and save that and that should bring the text down in the middle which it has so that's looking good next thing we need to do is actually make the font a little bit smaller so on the list item we're going to say font size and the font size we're going to choose will be 12 pixels as you see now that's looking quite nice but we've got a, a problem, well not a problem, but just the presentation of it is we need to move the text away from the icon a little. So the best way to do this is to tell the images to have uh, padding on the right hand side, which will kick the text away. So if we come down to the image one here, we're going to say padding on the right, we'll say 10 pixels. If you go to the index page, you can now see it's kicked that away and it's looking a lot nicer now. So the final thing we need to do is also move the unordered list down away from the H2 here. So if we just come up and if we come to here on the UL class of icons and we're going to say margin top of 20 pixels. Go back to the index page, that's now kicked it away. So we're getting there now. The final thing we need to do for the left hand side is just style this H2. So if we go to the code, the H2 is actually here. So to target this, we're going to say 
uh, a div with a class of left box that has a h2 do the following so let's go back to the style sheet and just below left box I'm just going to copy this in from the other side and paste that in so all of this we've already created I just copied it from this one here the featured h2 uh, and pasted it uh, down here so class of left box with a h2 so if I save that go to the index page and design you can now see that's taking shape and it's looking really nice so now we've sorted the left hand side all we have to do is copy the code and paste it over here so if we go to the code and what we're going to do we're going to grab everything inside of the left box and we're going to paste it inside of the right box save that now there's one thing we will have to do we'll have to style this h2 here so if I just go to the design I'll show you what I mean so as you can see we've got a complete replica of what we had over here for the icons it's just that we haven't styled this so it's easy to fix that so if we look at the code like I said this was in the, the right box now so we need a div with a class of right box that has a h2 so if we come back to the style sheet all we have to do is copy this one because we've already created the left side and we're just going to change left for right go back to the index page and design view and then you can now see that's changed as well so the final thing we'll do we'll just preview this in a web browser by clicking on the globe and clicking chrome or whatever browser you use and then if we hit refresh you can now see that's in position and is looking quite nice and we've replicated the code so it's an efficient way of doing it as well so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below in the next video we'll finish off with the final three boxes at the bottom uh, so please feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.